Hello and welcome to Wendell's Guide to Soloing Lord Margar in ICC 10 Man Normal as a Hunter. So basically, what you want to do is you is pretty much a tank and spank fight. Um, the main thing you want to do though is he casts something called Bones by Graveyard. Um, you want to watch your DBM timer, and whenever you have a probably like two, three seconds left on it, make sure you cast it on um, Distracting Shot. And because you want him to be taunted onto you when he's going to cast that, and if he's taunted onto you, he won't. Um, since he doesn't cast it on the current tank, he won't cast it on you. Otherwise, you'll have to get your pet to try and break you out. And between the fire, which you need to be moving out of, um, and other damage, you might not survive. You might survive one, but you won't survive two. <laughs> um, so make sh sure you're doing that. Um, occasionally he'll do this bone storm. You can see he's here going all around. Um, not really much you can do about that. Otherwise, just stay out of the fire. Um, just keep moving out of the fire. But pretty much the most critical part is watch the bone spike graveyard. Um, and before he starts casting it, depending on how far away you are, usually like three seconds away from when the uh, cooldown's up, make sure you're distracting shotting so that when he starts casting it, he will not cast it at you. And since there's no one else around, um, he doesn't cast it on your pet, so... That's pretty much the most critical part of this entire fight. As long as you can, I like to actually replace my silencing shot. Um, where my silencing shot is, I put distracting shot. But as long as you can distracting shot before he casts it, um, it's not too bad of a fight. So, hope this guy was helpful, and thanks for watching.